Hello? Hi, Janet, how are you? Hi, Brenda. Hi, teacher, how are you? Excellent, how was your weekend? Fine. Excellent. Uh, what did you do yesterday? Mm, I'm going to my brother. Oh, you went to visit your brother? Yes. That's great. And what did you do at your brother's house? In La Cima. Oh, in La Cima? And yes. did you have fun? Yes, yes, with my, how do you say, sobrino? Oh, nephews and cousins and your yeah. nephews, nephew. Yes, with my nephew. And your niece? Nephew is a sobrino, niece, sobrina. Nephew. Okay, nephew. How old is your nephew? Uh, he He's fourth. Four years old? Yes. Oh, my God. He's a big boy <laughs> now, huh? Yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And that's the only nephew you have? Sorry? Is that the only nephew you have? No, no. Oh. I I have uh, two more nephew, one nephew and one uh, niece. Niece. Oh, yes. very good. And uh, is this your brother's uh, uh, children or your sister's children? Uh, two brothers. Oh, two brothers. Uh, one brothers. Uh, he have a uh, one one son uh -huh. and the other brother have two 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 a son a one oh, girl and one boy yes. okay so he has a daughter and a son yes yeah son is a is a niño a daughter is he right? very good yes oh my goodness that's great. It's so very big, my family. You have a big family, huh? Yes. What about you? You don't have any uh, children? No, no. Not yet. I oh. don't have any children, no. Oh, very good. So, so you're, you, you do whatever you want, right? Yes, yes. Very good, very good. Yes, of course. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And how was your work today? How was your work today? Fine, and I'm very tired. Oh my uh, goodness, same yes, here. Yes, yes. Same here. I am uh, very tired too. Yes. Yeah. What did you eat for dinner? Uh, Subway. I Subway. Eat Subway. My goodness, yes. that's very healthy. Yes, yes. <laughs> so you keep your shape, huh? La linea. Of course. Yeah, very of course. Good. <laughs> very good, very good. And what do you do? I try for it. Well, it's, it's very good for you, for your health. And what do you do for a living? What do you what? do for a living? What do you do for a living? Living? Yes. Uh... What do you work? What is your, what uh, kind of uh, work you do? In my work, I I I don't I don't I don't know say that uh, administrador de activos. Oh, so you're an accountant. Yes. Oh, yes. very good. My goodness, you're good with uh, numbers, huh? In a little. Oh a my little. goodness. <laughs> oh, very good. Excellent. Oh my good. I yes. love numbers. I love numbers. I was good at math, so I love numbers. Hi, Andrea, how are you? My God, look at that, the beautiful the, uh, blouse that you have. I love that. Pop. Hi, teacher. My goodness. You, me. Look at you. Where are you going? Uh, nothing. Um, after uh, diner food. Uh, nothing, oh, teacher. Oh, very good, very good. How was it's that? cool. It's cold. It's it, cool. It is very cold. Yes, yes. I am cool. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. You yeah. should, uh, you should uh, wear a sweater. You should wear. A yeah. Yes. If you're, if you're cold. Yes. Of course. Okay, Janet, are you there? 
No, Cory Monterosa, are you there? No. Yes, here I am, teacher. Hello, how are you? Let me see you. Oh Hello. my God, look at you. Bye. Oh my goodness, that's a nice sweater. I love blue Thank color. You, teacher. Yeah. No, I love too. That's that's my that's my color, blue. Favorite color. Yes, my favorite color is blue. Yeah, everything. <laughs> yes. So I love it. What did you do? What did you do yesterday, Corey? Yesterday. Yesterday. Uh, yes. I spent my time at home. Oh my goodness. So you were relaxing at home. Resting. Oh, resting. Resting, relaxing. Oh. Yeah. Okay, very good. Excellent. Well, it's good to, you know, to relax whenever you have the time. Because when it's uh, time to work, you have to work. No question about it. All right, very good. Okay, welcome to uh, every single of you. Um, I don't know if Yannette is with us. Martinez? Mrs. Martinez, are you there? No? Okay. Well, today uh, we have a, a, a very special day. So everybody is, is kind of uh, wondering what is going to happen with the hurricane. Yeah, the, the storm that is approaching to El Salvador. Um, a lot of people is scared, including myself. I am scared. Me too, I'm scared. You too. And uh, Brenda, are you scared? Yes, a little. For the storm, yes. And you, yes. Andrea? Andrea, are you scared? Are you? Uh, are you scared? <gasps> no. Oh. Yeah, a little bit, because the storm. Uh, Ada, that's the name of the storm. Ada. Ada, yes. Ada. Okay. Well, the, uh, today we're gonna learn something about uh, American holidays. What can you tell me about uh, American holidays? Welcome to your English class uh, on the name of uh, um, our company. Uh, I am so happy to have you guys over here. Uh, we hope that we're going to learn something new today. We're going to be talking about uh, uh, American holidays. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, holidays are celebrated all over the world. Yeah? It's, eh, los los, los uh, días feriados se se celebran en todo el mundo. Así es que no precisamente solo son eh, American holidays, sino que también nosotros, we share some holidays together. So we're going to be talking about, uh, tell me, Andrea, uh, Brenda, uh, any uh, holidays that you can remember that we celebrate uh, over here in uh, our country, El Salvador? Independence Day. Independence Day. Yeah, very good. Yes. yes. Independence Day is a very important uh, date in El Salvador. Why is that, Corey? Why do you think it's very important, uh, our, our Independence Day celebration? And what day is the Independence Day celebrated on? Hi, Delmi. Independence Day yes. of El Salvador? El Salvador, yes. Uh -huh. September 15th. Fif September 15th, very good. And why it is important to celebrate, to show our kids uh, about that celebration? Uh, I think it's because we share mm -hmm. the happiness about the independence of your of our country. Yes, there we go. Uh -huh. We share our happiness because now we spend. And um, uh, tell me, are you there? Tell me. Okay, Andrea, Andrea, uh, when is uh, Independence Day in North America? Oh, uh, Independence Day in uh, North America is uh, uh, for July. July? Fourth, or? Fourth of July. Yes, very good. July, July yes. Yes, Fourth of July. That's very good. And uh, so we share the uh, same celebration, but in a different day, right? One is on, on the 4th and the other one is on the 15th. Yes? Are we okay with Yes. That? Okay, what about uh, Mother's Day? 
When is Mother's uh, Day celebrated in our country, Brenda? Uh, tenth May. Yes, on 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 May the tenth, right? Tenth yes. May. Yes. Very good. And um, uh, uh, Corey, what about the Father's Day? Father's Day yes. is on seventeenth. No. July, July, June, July, June, June 17. 17th. 17th, very good. I was going 17th. to say that then, then you do celebrate twice a year the Father's Day, one on July and one on June, right? No, but it's only June the 17th. June, June the 17th. June 17th. Very good, yeah. excellent. And um, do you think uh, North America has the same celebration as well? Uh, Father's Day and Mother's Day? Oh, Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Uh, no. Ten? Ten? no, no, no. Second, second Sunday. Yes, second but do, Sunday of May. Yes, but do they celebrate Mother's Day and Father's Day as well? Yes mm. or no? It's not the same day. Sí, pero celebran el Día de la Madre y el Día del Padre en Norteamérica también? Yes. Okay, yes. So of course. It's the same celebration. So we have the same celebration, but on different, uh, different. days. Yes, there we go. Different days. Yes, but different it's the same days. celebration. Now we're going to talk about a celebration that we do not celebrate. Um, let me, who can tell me um, a celebration that uh, North America has that we do not have? Uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Very good. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Okay. What is the uh, Thanksgiving uh, date, Brenda? In December, but I don't don't no, I don't know what's the day. It's not in December. When is the uh, uh, Thanksgiving day, uh, Andrea? November. Oh, uh, November. No, November. is it in November? Uh, in November, yes. Months, uh -huh. but uh, 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 date. On November. I don't know. Is it fourth? It is on weekend? November. On the November. 24th, on the twenty fourth, yes. Yeah. November. Yes, yes. yes. It's, it's on the last uh, week of November. Very good. And uh, why do we celebrate? Uh, why do they celebrate uh, Thanksgiving Day, uh, Mr. Vega? Billy? Billy? Okay, what about tell me? Why do they celebrate uh, Thanksgiving Day? And what do they do on those days? Tell me. Okay, Janet? Okay, we don't have a uh, uh, Janet, we don't have a uh, Billy Vega, and we don't have a uh, Delmi Carranza. Okay, so. Inténtalo, inténtalo. <laughs> okay, um, remember that uh, um, the rules for the class is that you have to have the uh, camera on and the microphone off. Those are the two rules. So uh, please, uh, uh, Vega, Mr. Vega, turn your camera on and uh, Delmi, please uh, turn the camera on and Jeanette, please. Oh, okay. She's having problems. She, she said that uh, la está sacando de la clase. Okay. So, um, so Thanksgiving Day is a celebration that uh, is uh, celebrated in the United States because uh, it was the day when the pilgrims. Do you know what pilgrims are? ¿Sabe qué son un pilgrim? No. Anybody? Corey? ¿Sabe cuáles son los pilgrims? Los peregrinos. No? Are you there? Come back, come back, come. Ya viene. Teacher, quítale el mute. Mute, teacher. Yes, thank you. Yes, I'm sorry. We have a, a, a hiccup. 
in the network. I do apologize for that inconvenience. Eh, mil, mil disculpas, tuvimos un hipo en el internet, ok? Lo siento mucho. Ok, so, it's uh, pilgrims. Estábamos en el nombre de pilgrims. Pilgrims son los que llegaron de Inglaterra a los Estados Unidos. Y eh, hubo un día que no tenían comida y le oraron a Dios y les cayeron pavos del cielo. Entonces, desde ese día empezaron a celebrar el Thanksgiving. Por eso le llaman Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Day. Yes, uh -huh. Por eso lo celebran ellos. Ok, uh, what about uh, New Year's Eve? When do we celebrate New Year's Eve? Uh, New Year's? New Year's. Uh, my country? Years, yes. When was it? Oh, when? 21, uh, this, um, December 21. Uh, 31, 31. 30, 31? Uh, oh, August, uh, the 1st, uh, January? January the 1st, <laughs> yes. yes. January the 1st, because it's New Year's Eve. Yes, that's the reason we, we celebrate uh, January. And what about the Christmas Eve? Corey, Christmas Eve. December 24th. De December 20. Uh, well, in uh, North America, they celebrated uh, uh, um, the 25th, December 25th. Mm -hmm. For them. For us, um, it's the day siguiente. Siguiente. Yes, the day after the, our Christmas day. So no, when they're sorry. celebrating Christmas Eve, we are already sleeping. Okay? <laughs> so that's what we have. So let, let's. Um, I have a PowerPoint presentation that uh, I want to share with you, and we're going to uh, look at the date that they celebrate, and I'm going to ask you a question, and you will respond back to me, okay? Just a second, so I can uh, put that, uh, um, let's see. American holidays. Okay. Are you able to see that? Yeah, I am. Okay. See Can you see me? Uh, is this American holidays? Holidays. So, can you repeat that? American holidays. American. American holidays. Holidays. Very good. American, American holidays. I... Very good. Thank you. American... Thank you very much. Okay. What is what is the most famous religious holiday in America? Anybody? What is the most famous religious holiday in America? Christmas. Christmas Eve. When Christmas. it is celebrated on what day? Oh, uh, twenty twenty five. On December. On December. December twenty five. December twenty fifth. On December twenty fifth. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to ask you, uh, Brenda, uh, when is the most famous religious uh, holiday celebrated in America, North America? It what is the question? Sorry. Yes. What is the most famous religious holiday celebrated in North America? The most famous religious famous. holiday in America. Famous. 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 Yes. Religious. Uh, in America. Religious uh, yes. holiday in America. Yes. Is Christmas. Christmas Eve. When it is celebrated? December 25th. December 25th. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Next one. When do people get anonymous greeting cards, uh, Andrea? When do people get anonymous greeting cards? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, no? uh, San Valentin? Valentine's Day. Day. Oh. Very good. Very good. Yeah. And when do we celebrate uh, Valentine's Day? Uh, my country? Yes. Uh -huh. Uh, my country is uh, celebrate Valentine's Day. Uh, Valentine's. Uh, um, uh, okay. 40? 40 on February. Okay. It is celebrated on uh, February the 14th. Okay. 
So Valentine's Day, it is celebrated on February the 14th. Okay? Very good. Okay, excellent. Okay. excellent. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. What may happen if people don't give children a treat? Um, what will happen if they don't get a treat? What do you think it will happen if uh, when they... Uh, you, do you know the... Um, on uh, on North America, they celebrate the Halloween Eve. Yeah. And every single kid goes around their blocks asking for candies. And what they announce every time they come to the uh, doors of the houses, they say, hey, tree, tricky or treat. So they say, trick, trick or treat. They say, that means, see, Eh, que le dan un dulce o les hacen algo a ellos, les hacen una adivinanza o les hacen uh, un chiste o eh, cualquier cosa, pero si no les dan dulces. Entonces toda la gente lo que hace, they have candies and uh, in front of their houses, they have a, a bucket full of candies so the kids can take them on that eve, evening. Ok, so what will happen if they don't get, uh, if they don't give children a treat? Uh, Miguel? Um, 31, October 51. What would happen if, uh, if the people at, at the house don't give the children a treat or a candy? What would happen? What will the children do? ¿Qué hacen los niños si no les dan dulces cuando llegan a pedir a las casas? Is that true? They, yes. The people have to do a trick. A trick. A trick. Is, yeah, a trick es, es tienen que hacer una adivinanza, algo, tienen que hacer una actuación. Entonces la gente tiene dulces en la en frente de la casa para que los niños agarren para, para no hacer nada, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que pasa. Okay, and when is uh, uh, Halloween celebrated on? On um, October 31. October 31st. Very good. October 31st. Very good. Excellent. Now, um, Benjamin, when and who brings children colorful eggs? When? Es cuando. And who brings children colorful eggs? Mm. Repeat the question, teacher, please. No lo puedes ver ahí. Sí lo puedes ver, ¿verdad? Puedes ver la When and who brings children colorful eggs? Egg. ¿Cuándo y quiénes? In English. When and who brings children colorful eggs? ¿Quién? When and who brings children colorful eggs? Eggs, yes, eggs. Eggs. Yes, cuando y quien, verdad? When and who brings. In Spanish, what does it say? Cuando y quien le, le trae huevos uh, de colores a los niños. Okay. Pero lo necesitamos en inglés, verdad? Who, sí. when. Anybody? The, the people? Cuando? The, the Easter Bunny. There we go, there we go. Easter Bunny. Easter is the bunny. name of the bunny. Yeah, Easter is the name of the bunny. Yes, and when? When that happened? Uh, Billy, Vega, or? Mm. Cuando pasa eso? Paco? Alguien que ayude? Oh, I don't know dates. Not dates, the month. In my, co in my country, no celebrate. April, when we celebrate April Fool, right? April Fool. Very good. So the bunny is the Easter, Easter bunny. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. When children honor their mothers, uh, tell me. Oh, I understand. Bueno. When my... children honor their mothers. 
¿Cuántos mm. niños le honoran a la madre? Sí, May. Perdón, Delmi. Mm. Sí. May. May. Mothers. Mother die. Mothers. Die. Repeat. Mother. Mothers. Mother. Mothers. Mother. Con la S, te falta la S. Mothers. Mother. No escucho la S. Mothers. Mother. La S, por favor. Mother. Mothers. Mira, mira, la S para pronunciar la S en inglés hace esto. Como una culebra. Entonces se va a decir mothers. Mothers. Yeah, day. 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 Hace así. Da, 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 da. Dime. Da, 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 da. Pon la lengua atrás de los dientes y arriba. Enfrente, da. Day. Da. Day. Da. da. Dime así, da. 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 Y, y dices, day. Day. Mother's day. ¿Ok? Mother's day. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Excellent. Oh, my God. You guys are good. Excellent. Ok. Next one. Let's see. What do you know about uh, pilgrims? Eh, Corby Monterosa, we were talking about pilgrims. Estábamos hablando de los peregrinos anteriormente. What do you know about pilgrims? Tell me, Corby Monterosa. I don't know what the meaning of pilgrims. Estábamos hablando al principio de los peregrinos, ¿te acuerdas? Los que llegaron a Norteamérica. Oh. ¿Qué les cayó el cielo? Pavo. Hey, Turkey. Uh, no. Turkey. Tur Tur Turkey. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And what holiday do Americans celebrate to honor them? De los peregrinos. ¿Cuál es el día que ellos eh, celebran para honorar a los peregrinos? Anybody? Mm -hmm. Cualquiera, Benjamín, Brenda. The, The last week state. of November. Thanksgiving Day, very good. Thanksgiving Day, very good. Thanksgiving Day. Yes, el día le llaman de gracia. El día de gracia. Por de acción de gracia. Acción de gracia, por eso está ahí el pavo y todas esas cosas así, eso celebran ellos para ese día. Eh, lo celebran en familia y todos comen mucho, es cuando ganan más, uh, uh, a little bit, a little bit more uh, 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 pounds, uh, ganan unas libritas de más. Ok, entonces Thanksgiving Day y los pilgrims son los que llegaron a Norteamérica, son los uh, uh, de Inglaterra, England, who came to uh, America y ahí tuvieron muchos problemas y les, como les dije al principio, they pray God to help them out. So Dios les mandó esos pavos y desde entonces vienen celebrando el Thanksgiving Day. Ok, very good, excellent. Now we have this one. When do people see witches and ghosts? In the streets and why, Brenda? Cuando la gente mira brujas y, y fantasmas en las calles y por qué? In the Halloween day. Halloween day, very good. Yes. Halloween day and why? Why did they dress up uh, as a, as a witches and ghosts? Porque se, I don't know. Porque se visten como, como <laughs> fantasmas y todo. Alguien que le pueda ayudar? Anybody can help Brenda? Alguien que le puede ayudar a Brenda? Miguel? I saw the issue. On October. On October 31. ¿Por qué? Se visten como, como fantasmas y como brujas ese día. Because it's Halloween. Sí, pero ¿qué es lo que celebran? El día de los muertos, very good. Yes, the, the day of the death. Sí, el día de los muertos. The day of the death. Yes, that's the reason why they wear they wear the masks and uh, and they dressed up as uh, you know 
vampires and, and all kind of things. Okay, so that's the reason why. Excellent. Okay, next one. Teacher, pero también, teacher, pero también le dicen el día de las brujas. Yes, yeah, the witches. It's Halloween. Yes. yes uh -huh. Yes. When do people? Pero el día de los muertos es en noviembre. Es en noviembre, el 31st. Es aquí, pero Ajá. no sé si es allá. Día, ¿no? Ese es el día de los santos, el día el primero de noviembre. El es, de los muertos, el 2, es, pues. ¿eh? El día de los santos. Y el 31 es Halloween, el día de los muertos. Por eso es que se visten así de, 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 de fantasmas y todo eso. Ok, so, entonces son dos días, el día de los santos y el día de los muertos. Esa es la celebración, por eso que se visten de, de, de brujas. Ok, next one is, when do people wear something green? ¿Cuándo se visten de, de, de verde? Ay, se me olvidó el nombre. Eh, hey, very good. Ah. San Patricio. Hey, ¿quién dijo Patricio? ¿Quién dijo Patricio? Saint Patrick. Uh... Saint Patrick Day, yes. Saint Patrick. The day, I don't know the day. No, same, sí, pero ¿cuándo es que se viste? The green en el Saint Patrick Day. Yes, very good. Well, Saint Patrick I don't know Day. Saint Patrick Day. Ok. Oh, do we know when when uh, do they uh, celebrate the Saint Patrick Day? On March. March what? Seventeen. March seventeenth. March seventeenth. Yes, March seventeenth is a uh, Saint Patrick Day. March seventeenth. Okay, who says March seventeenth? Patrick's uh, day? No, who said that? ¿Quién dijo que era March 17th? Oh, uh, I'm going to give him an extra credit. I creo que fue Miguel Lara. Okay, Andrea, yes. Andrea Cristales uh, preguntó cuándo es el día. So somebody answered that question. So uh, you guys are going to get uh, extra credit, okay? So remind me. Okay. So, uh, in Valentine's Day, it was on uh, Easter Day. What day was Easter Day on? Celebrated on. ¿Qué día se celebra el Día de los Huevos? Um, Easter. Uh, Easter. Uh, on February? No. April. April? April. Yes. April. April. Yes, the fourth Sunday, right? En el día domingo. Eso se celebra eso, el... Easter day. Okay, so when are children allowed to stay up uh, till midnight? When are children, cuando es que los niños eh, están permitidos de quedarse tarde en la noche hasta medianoche? Oh, July 3rd? For on July? What do they celebrate on July 1st? Independence. Independence Day. So, in yeah. Indep Independence Day se celebra hasta la midnight. Midnight es medianoche. Oh, no, it's New Year. New Year. 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 Yes, very year. good. Muy yeah. bien, Andrea. It's uh, me, uh, New Year's Eve. Yes. Acuérdense que en la medianoche, cuando esperamos nosotros el nuevo año, todos los niños en North America eh, los, les permiten que se estén hasta las 12 de la noche en ese día. Los dos días tienen que... On, on Christmas Day? On, no, no, Christmas Day es el, en el día. Christmas Eve es en la noche. ¿Ya? Yeah? Y New Year's yeah. Eve es el fin de año. So, entonces, on, on New Year's Eve, so, ellos les permiten que se estén uh, bien tarde. El Christmas, el Christmas Eve, no, porque solo eh, abren los regalos y ya se van a acostar. Okay, no les permiten estar en la noche. Entonces, when are children allowed to stay up till midnight? Uh, Miguel, when? Who? What? <laughs> when are children allowed to stay up till midnight? ¿Alguien que le ayude? On July 4th, Independence Day. <laughs> No, no, New Year. New Year. New Year. New Year. Yeah, there we go. New Year's. Yes. Very good. 
So, a ese, ese entonces cuando los niños les permiten estar en la noche hasta, hasta medianoche. Ok, very good, excellent. Ok, when do children bring their fathers breakfast to bed? ¿Cuándo los niños le traen a sus papás el desayuno a la cama? Estamos hablando de Father's, 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 Father's Day. Father's Day. Very good. Father's Day. Miguel, Father's Day, right? Right. Okay, excellent. So, this is um, the end of our presentation. This is uh, the American holidays. So, if you have any questions in regard to um, the holidays that are celebrated in North America, let me know, okay? Okay, very good, excellent. So we finish uh, the American holidays. Now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go and um, see the special occasions. What are the special occasions that uh, are celebrated in El Salvador? New Year? <laughs> New Year's? Uh, uh -huh. Yes. Benjamin, special occasion, special. celebration? Ben Benjamin? Mm -hmm. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, very good. Brenda, special location. Independence Day. Independence Day, very good. Uh, uh, Delmi Carranza, special location. No? Corey Monterosa, special. Mother's Day. Mother's Day, yes, uh, Brenda says Mother's Day. So, um, any other? Father's special? Day. Father's Day, very good, excellent. Uh, Okay. Christmas Day. Christmas Eve. Oh, yeah, Christmas Day too. Christmas Eve and uh, um, New Year's Eve, Thanksgiving Day, uh, Saint Patrick Day. Uh, what else? The Easter Day. So, any questions about uh, those days? We are clear, right? Okay, very good. Excellent. Now we're going to see what is next on our. Um, on the uh, platform. Do you have any questions uh, on the platform specifically or we are okay? Mm. Yes, we are okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Um, I want to talk to you uh, before we go. By the, uh, by the end of this class, you will develop skills in scanning. Scanning is uh, escanear, right? and reading for details by reading an article about the birthday celebration in different countries. So vamos a, a leer eso, pero antes de leer eso, quiero hablarles acerca de, eh, ¿quién me puede decir what is a, um, um, un adjetivo en español y qué es lo que hace un adjetivo? ¿Alguien me puede explicar qué es un adjetivo? ¿Miguel? Que es un adjetivo, dijo. Sí, Miguel. Miguel Lara. <risa> Estás trabajando. Miguel? Um, eh, eh, no, solo estaba finalizando una cosa. Los adjetivos. Sí, dime qué es un adjetivo para ti y eh, la posición. Son de palabras. Entiendo que son palabras que complementan al sustantivo. Ok, me estás hablando muy, 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 muy elegante. Es como, como, lo, como lo dividimos en, por ejemplo, el adjetivo calificativo sería el que califica el nombre, ¿no? Ok, um, ok. ¿Alguien le puede ayudar a Miguel? Brenda, que es un, es un adjetivo. Eh, bueno, quizás como dijo Miguel, es eh, la palabra que acompaña el sustantivo en la oración. Es que me habla, me habla muy alto, para mí eso es muy alto. Algo más fácil. Uh, Andrea, ¿qué es un adjetivo? I don't know, teacher. Yo I creo don't know, que mis good. compañeros no están viendo en el teléfono y por eso están sí. hablando muy así. Okay, y yo no good. tengo otra. Ok. Y Benjamín, en tus propias palabras, ¿qué es un adjetivo? Ahorita se oye como que... Uh, eh, eh. Ahorita, ahorita estamos, estamos hablando en, en otro lenguaje, ¿verdad? En español, uh, Delmi, ¿qué es un adjetivo? Es, 
describe el adjetivo es para describir algo, alguna uh -huh. persona, alguna cosa. Ya vamos por algo ahí. Muy bien, excelente. Y Corey, ¿qué es un adjetivo para ti? Un adjetivo es algo que, que califica el nombre, al sustantivo. Oh my goodness, ¿Sí? otra, otra, bien así, bien alto. Otra es que me hablan mucho, muy, muy alto me hablan así. Para ustedes, en sus propias palabras, ¿qué es un sí, adjetivo? Sí, chévere, es que eso nos enseñan. Ok. <risa> si no, así nos enseñan los adjetivos. Sí, adjetivo ejemplo, califica el nombre, ah, adverbio modifica el verbo. Pero, Por ejemplo, en el carro viejo. Ok, ok, muy bien, ese, ese es un buen ejemplo. Ahora... Explíqueme eso, carro viejo. Por eso es, la es la palabra que acompaña al sustantivo para expresar una cualidad de la cosa designada por él. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Lo oh caracteriza el sustantivo, algo así al nombre. Bonjour, monsieur, je m'appelle Antonio. Tu Así oigo que habla cuando es ese. Ok, vamos a, vamos a hacerlo bien fácil, mire. El adjetivo es lo que las personas dijeron, hay unos dijeron aquí, que es lo que identifica, ya sea un lugar, ya sea una persona, ya sea un pensamiento o un objeto. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, eh, el carro es mío, ¿qué le falta ahí para identificar ese carro? Porque si digo el carro, ¿y usted qué me va a preguntar, Corri? ¿Cuál carro? ¿Cuál carro? ¿Cuál carro? ¿Cuál carro? Pero, What? What's the car? Yo le digo, el carro rojo estacionado enfrente de mi casa es mío. Entonces, ¿cuál es el adjetivo ahí en la palabra carro? Rojo. 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 Rojo, porque rojo hace la diferencia de ese y otro carro. ¿Sí? Entonces, el adjetivo es lo que modifica a lo que estamos hablando. Y en inglés va antes de la palabra que modifica. En español va después, nosotros siempre hacemos las cosas revesadas, va después de lo que modifica en español. Por ejemplo, en español decimos nosotros el, el carro rojo, ¿sí? Pero en inglés se dice the red car, ¿sí? Entonces, el adjetivo es lo que modifica. Y acuérdense bien, esto es muy importante, acuérdense que el adjetivo va antes de la palabra que está modificando. Ese es el adjetivo. Entonces, un adjetivo es lo que modifica al sustantivo, como ustedes dijeron. ¿Ya? Como así me entienden ustedes, le voy a decir sustantivo. <risa> Porque yo le hablo diferente. ¿Ok? Entonces, estamos bien. Entonces, vamos a ver. La palabra eh, uh, tall, T-A-L-L, -L, tall, es alto. Entonces, eh, Corey, quiero que me diga Miguel es un hombre alto. ¿Cómo lo ponemos, Corey? Miguel. Repeat the sentence, sí. please. Si sí, quiero que me diga, Miguel es un hombre alto. Miguel is a high man. No, high. ¿Cómo les dije que se decía alto? High. Tall. 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 Eso, eso, eso quiere decir que no me están poniendo atención. Por favor, pónganme atención porque entonces eh, estamos en otra cosa. Entonces, uh, Miguel es a, a tall guy. ¿Ya? Yeah? Es un muchacho. No, le vamos a decir muchacho. Eh, eh, Miguel es. ¿Es un chico? A, yes, guy. A, yeah. Guy. ¿Cómo es ella? Eh, nosotros. Uy. Dependiendo de qué país está. Si usted está en, en, en Argentina, eh, este es un pibe, ¿ya? Guy es un pibe. En El Salvador, nosotros decimos muchacho al guy, ¿ya? O chico, no sé. Chico. Boy. Boy. Este muchacho, un boy, ¿ah? un joven, un boy. Ok, entonces vamos a ver. Eh, Brenda, eh, ah, eh, Brenda, ¿qué, ¿qué le podemos hacer? Eh, Brenda es una muchacha feliz, ¿verdad? Miguel. Miguel lo está poniendo en Google y, y, y lo está traduciendo y luego lo va a decir. Brenda ya estaba y... hablando, pero tenía para ver el teléfono. <risa> 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 <Okay. risa> 
Ok, vamos a ver. <ríe> Mejor. No. Um, Brenda is uh, happy. 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 No, ¿Cómo me dijo que era? Sí, es una muchacha feliz. Um, Brenda, muchacha. Brenda is a happy girl. Is girl. a happy girl. Girl. Yes. girl. Girl, yes. Chica. Gracias, Benjamín. Happy girl. Acuérdense que girl, se, la I se, se pronuncia la E. Entonces, girl. Girl. Girl, no girl. Chica, ¿no? cuando usted dijo muchacha, este, no es igual que chica, ¿verdad? Pero, uh -huh. ¿Se puede utilizar girl o girl o se tiene que utilizar alguna otra palabra? Girl es la que se utiliza. Así sí. como en el hombre. Este, guys, es, boys, es no. different. Y es, con nosotros lo traducimos en la traducción, ahí es donde nos confundimos todos. O sea, dependiendo de, de, del punto de vista que usted lo ve, um, lo va a traducir. A girl es a girl, o sea, una jovencita, ¿verdad? una muchacha, girl. Y a woman es ya una adulta. Mujer, mujer, ya. Yes. Yeah. Ajá. Entonces, a girl es en la traducción, ahí vamos a tener conflictos. Con, mire, ¿cómo se dice aquí? Se dice chico, pibe o. O, o de otra forma, pero girl es una muchacha joven, entonces cuando nos referimos a Brenda, girl cuando referimos a Miguel a, a, a Guy a, y cuando nos referimos a niños no tenemos aquí, entonces le diríamos boy, un niño más pequeño, ya, como de 12 años, boy, youth sería como de 12 a los 15, 17 años, youth ya, eso es lo que vamos a, a trabajar Ok, entonces el adjetivo que es, dijimos, es lo que modifica al sustantivo y va siempre antes del de sustantivo. Entonces, ¿por qué les estoy explicando esto? Porque he leído unos escritos que han hecho ahí, eh, gracias por los que han trabajado, que han puesto los adjetivos después de, del objeto, de lo que está modificando y es porque se está a veces traduciendo. Así es que por eso hago esta, esta aclaración para ayudarles a ustedes en lo que eh, veo yo que necesitan, ¿ok? So, el adjetivo. ¿Ya? ¿Alguna pregunta del adjetivo? ¿No? ¿Estamos bien? No. Excelente. Estamos volando, ¿ah? ¿eh? Ok, entonces vamos a ver aquí, vamos a... Uh, what are you going to do on your birthday? Este es algo que... que no lo vamos a ver porque creo que ya lo vieron ustedes. Si hay alguna pregunta, entonces nomás díganme si hay alguna pregunta para discutirla o ayudarles en lo que eh, necesiten ayuda. Ver, el próximo es el check knowledge, knowledge check. Entonces, aquí tenemos, eh, ¿cuál es el, el adjetivo aquí en knowledge check? ¿Miguel? Knowledge. Knowledge, yes, knowledge. No. Conocimiento, ¿verdad? Verificación de conocimiento, porque verificación es solo una verificación. ¿Qué estamos verificando? El knowledge. Entonces, si lo ven ahí, está antes del de sustantivo. Entonces, es knowledge check. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que vamos a verificar qué tanto han entendido. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a leer el artículo, ¿ok? Y vamos a, a contestar las preguntas aquí. Eh, ¿Quién me lo quiere leer? ¿Algún uh, voluntario? Me? Ok, por favor. Uh, Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. Yes, uh -huh. Madrid. Uh, my, 20, my 21st Fair. birthday. Yes, uh -huh. very good. First mm -hmm. birthday is on Saturday. Saturday. Mm -hmm. And I am going to go, go out with. Uh -huh. Some friends to wish, wish, yes. as is the visit, mm -hmm. wish. wish me, wish me, wish me, uh -huh. um, happy birthday. Yes, they they going to pull on my hair, hair, 21 times. Yes, once, uh, once, 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 yes. once, 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 once. Como once. One, como one y las al final, once. Once. Uh -huh. Once for each, each year. Each year. Uh -huh. each, each year. It's an all cost 
custom custom yes some people yes. call on the air, on the air ear uh -huh. use on just on once uh -huh. once 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 yes. once but mm -hmm. my friends are very traditional very good excellent thank you very much thank you very much so, <laughs> this is very good good job elena buena, yes elena buenaventura madrid my 21st birth date is on saturday and i am going to go out with some friends to wish me a happy birthday they're going to pull on my ear 21 times once for each year it's an old custom some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Okay, so la primera question is, la primera pregunta, to celebrate her birthday, Elena's friends are going to pull her ear 21 times? True it's or true. false? It's true. true. It's true. Very good. It's true. It is true. Okay. Now, um, Brenda, can you read the uh, Yang Xin Shi type, please? Okay. Yang Ching Chi, mm -hmm. Taipei. <laughs> tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow is my 16th birthday. Very it's good. a special birthday. So we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in Lucky. Lucky? Envelopes, envelopes? Envelopes, yeah. From my envelopes, from my relatives, my mother is going to cook noodles. Mm -hmm. Noodles are for a long life. Noodles are for a long life. Very good. Excellent. Okay, just a, a, as a reminder, uh, in English, when you have a, a, a D letter, you read the word as a R. So you say noodles. Noodles. Say it. Noodles. 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 Very good. Okay, now question. John Sheen is going to cook some noodles on her birthday? False. False. False, right? False. False. Very good. Okay. Now, let me see. Miguel, can you help me with the Mr. and Mrs. Oki? Kyoto? Okay. Thank you. Mr. and Miss. Yes, Mrs. Oki. Mr. Mrs. and Mrs. Yes. Mr. and Mrs. Oki Kyoto. Mm -hmm. My husband is going to be. Yes. 60 tomorrow in Japan. Yes. The 60th birthday is called. 60th. 60th. 60th birthday uh -huh. is called. This can can Rick. Can Rick, yes. Huh? It the beginning of a new life. Mm -hmm. The color red represents a Represent. new life. Represents. Represent uh -huh. a new life. Yes. The children of giving something bread. Yes. Uh -huh. As a present. Yes. What are our children going to give him? And red hat. Yes. Okay. Very good. Now, everybody, uh, on his birthday, Mr. Oaki is going to receive something red. True or true. True. True, true. Right? Yes, he's gonna receive a red hat and a vest. Okay, now last not least, Philip Jolie Paris. Who can help me on this one? I have uh me. Benjamin, please. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to be 30 next week. So I'm going to invite, invite three very good friends, invite three uh -huh. very good friends yes. or to dinner. In uh -huh. French, uh, when you have a beer that you often invite, invite people out. Uh -huh. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. Opposite, opposite. opposite people take you out. Take you out, yes. Yeah, France, France. Uh, French is a different word. That's France. France is like country. France. Okay. Yeah, sí. Eh, este es diferente, ¿verdad? Philip, Philip's friends are going to take him out to dinner on his birthday. True or false? 
False. False, False yes. Uh, he's going to take them out uh, for dinner. Eh, no está, eh, dice él que en, en, ese, en el la país de él, el que invita es el que cumple año. En nuestro país, nosotros invitamos al que cumple año. Entonces, yes, it is false. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. So, I guess we got um, 100% of this. Oh, oh. We got oh, all the verses. Mr. So, Aki is going to receive some. Bad response. Okay. It is true. And, and I put false. I'm sorry. Yes. We say true, right? A red hat and a vest. It was my bad. It was my fault. And ustedes no se equivocaron, me equivoqué yo, porque ustedes me dijeron the true y yo le puse false. Okay, so let's go to the next one. We only have about seven minutes. Let's see. One second. Okay, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing parts of the body. Okay, so we're going to see if we can learn part of the body. And, and I have, uh, let's see, I have, okay, I have a presentation on parts of the body. Let me share with you. Okay, parts of the body, right here. Okay, let's see, this is uh, parts of the body that I prepared. And uh, we're going to learn about uh, different parts of the body. This is almost the same that it is on, on the video. If you have seen it uh, before, you're going to see that it's almost uh, uh, the same. So what I will do is I will touch one part of my body, and you're going to tell me what I am touching on, okay? Me voy a tocar una parte de mi cuerpo y usted me va a decir qué es lo que estoy tocando o qué es lo que estoy levantando o qué es lo que estoy haciendo, okay? So are you guys ready? Eh, me voy a tocar una parte de mi cuerpo y ustedes me van a decir qué parte me estoy tocando del cuerpo. Y lo van a escoger de estos nombres. Pero antes de hacer eso, vamos a empezar. El uno es la head, ¿verdad? Head. Número dos es eye. Eye. Ear. Número tres, ear. Cuatro, nose. Cinco es mouth. Seis es tooth. Mouth. Tooth. Uno, yes, teeth, son todos, chin, es la barbilla, back, es back. mi espalda, stomach, stomach. es mi estómago, eh, neck, es mi cuello, arm, es mi arm. brazo, thumb, es mi dedo pulgar, thumb, finger, es un finger, eh, leg, es my leg, ¿verdad? Uncle. Ankle is ankle, okay, ankle. Feet is un feet. feet, yeah. Los dos, feet, los dos. Yeah. No los puedo yeah. levantar los dos, ¿verdad? Pero es, son los yeah, dos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Y toes, toes son los dedos gordos de los pies, yeah. Los dedos gordos de los pies. Mm -hmm. Estos dedos, todos se llaman toes, yeah. Ahora tenemos el throat. Throat es la garganta adentro. Este es el neck, ¿verdad? Esto es el neck y el throat es a, aquí, la garganta. Wrist mm -hmm. es la muñeca. No sé, teacher, no sé. You don't see it? Wrist, wrist, uh, yeah. wrist es la muñeca. I'm sorry. Elbow es el codo. Hand mm -hmm. es la mano. Fingers son los fingers, los dedos. dedos. Yeah. Knee es la rodilla, ni eh, foot, un pie, un pie, y toe es un dedo del pie. Entonces, acuérdense, toe, los de los pies, fingers, los de las manos, ¿ya? ¿sí? Ok, vamos a empezar con tell me. Tell me, what am I touching? ¿Qué es lo que estoy tocando? Y usted me va a decir, your head, yes Tell me, what am I touching? Your head. Very good. Um, uh, Corey, what am I touching? Your neck. Very good. Um, Benjamin, what am I lifting? ¿Qué estoy levantando? Your thumb. Thumb. Very good. Your thumb. Eh, Miguel, 
What am I pointing at? ¿A qué estoy apuntando? Your mouth. No. Lo que está dentro de la mouth, ¿cómo se llama? Garganta. Throat. Yes. Garganta. Throat. Yes. ¿Cómo? Throat. Oh, very good. Throat. 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 Yes, my throat. Ha. Huh? Yeah. Throat. This is throat. My throat. 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 Así. Throat. Okay. Throat. Okay. Janet. Janet, what am I pointing at? ¿A qué estoy apuntando? Janet. Your, my lip. Janet. No. no se ve, teacher. ¿Ah? No. Me mira. No me ve. Yeah. Okay. ¿Eh? ¿Qué estoy apuntando? What am I pointing? ¿Qué Your estoy... teeth. 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 Yes, my teeth. Very good. No tooth, ¿verdad? Tooth es uno. Two is one. It's one. What? Okay, what am I uh, pointing or uh, touching? ¿Qué estoy tocando? Chin. Your chin. Your chin. Very good. Your chin. Yes. What am I touching? Your back. My back, yes, my back, yes. What am I touching? Uh, elbow. Your elbow. Your elbow. elbow. Your elbow. Tu codo, yes. Uh -huh. What am I uh, showing? You finger. Your hands. Finger? Your hand. Finger? Your oh, hand. Okay, these are my fingers. Yes, my fingers. Yes. Hey, what am I showing? You thumbs. Thumbs. Very good. Thumbs. Very good. What am I showing? Your arm. Your arm. Very good. Okay, very good. Excellent. Very good. Is any word, hay alguna palabra aquí que usted do not recognize. ¿Hay alguna palabra aquí que usted no reconozca? ¿No? ¿Todos lo reconocemos? Hay unas que no, pero es de aprendérmelas. Ok, entonces esto va a quedar de tarea para mañana. Mañana lo vamos a, a repasar otra vez y yo le voy a, a hacer una pregunta a cada uno de ustedes, ¿ok? Eh, ¿Cómo estamos con la plataforma? ¿Lo estamos terminando? Yes, este. yes. Okay. Hay una hay una homework que una tarea ahí un, que no no mucho que me está costando pero creo que mañana la veremos porque no hay mucho. Okay. Mañana. Principio. Okay, so uh, that's it for today. Uh, thank you for the, your presence. Gracias por su presencia. And I hope everything comes together for you and that uh, this storm will not uh, damage uh, too much our country y que la, la tormenta no vaya a dañar mucho nuestra nuestro uh, país nuestro país sí uh, estemos uh, we have to pray God He is the only one who can save us Orar a Dios. from this Please, uh, Lord, no. okay yeah. okay mm -hmm. so I see you tomorrow thank you for being here and uh, I talk to you tomorrow okay bye bye Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.